All right, Shalom, another GMS on the go, back with another lesson. Hey, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, all honor, all glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Waha, Rakak, Wadash. Next double honors, Salahia. Way over here. Next double honors to the head apostles. The elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace and blessing to all you sincere accurate man. Pushing this Bible week in and week out to the best of your ability. Regardless of people here for a bed. This is just a short gem that's on the go. You know, just um, like um, a video to inspire you Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indian. Hey, the name of this lesson right here is called um, We Are the Greatest People in the World. Okay? We are that royal bloodline. You know what I'm saying? The seed, the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's us. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. We are that greatest people created on the face of the earth, man. The name of the GMS on the go, once again, is called We Are the Greatest People in the World. Why do you think we do the things that we do? Those God-given talents that no other nation can do, like jumping from the free throw line, dunking, singing, baseball, you name it, man, cooking, arithmetic. Coming up with all those inventions, regardless if the so-called white man gave us credit for it or not. That's that's us, man. That's you Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. And I just got a couple scriptures that I wanted to read. I mean, we go over these scriptures over and over, over and over, but Jake don't let it sink in, man. Jake really don't let it sink in how special you are. You know, you was created to be that special people. The greatest people on the face of the earth. So when you look in the mirror, just know you're looking at greatness, man, okay? You're not just looking at anything. You're looking at greatness. When you look in the mirror, tell yourself you're looking at greatness, man, okay? We was taught here in America, you know what I'm saying, that we own nothing. You know what I'm saying? We will never be nothing, you know? But the whole time, you know what I'm saying, we was that great nation created on the face of the earth. So here we go. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. For thou art an holy people. Unto the Lord thy power. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. And the word holy means separate man. Okay. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai created us to be that separate nation. It's greater than all the other nations man. Okay. Once again. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. For thou art an holy people. Unto the Lord thy power. Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai. The Lord thy power has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Yahweh, but the God of the heavens and the earth created us to be that great people, man. That special people, that holy people. Above all people on the face of the earth. And you can't get around that, man. Okay? Actions speak louder than words. The things that the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians do, and the confusion of faces, which are Israelites, you can't deny that it's something great about them. No one can deny that, man. No one. I'm going to read that again. For brothers, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, hey, the men, women, and the children, you better let this sink in, man. How much of a a blessing it is to be created to be the greatest people on the face of the earth. You can't take that for light, man. Because you have Bashim Shai didn't have to do that. So once again, Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy power. The Lord thy power, Yahweh Bashim Shai, has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people. That are upon the face of the earth. Because I was I woke up, you know what I'm saying, trying to figure out what I'm gonna do a lesson on. Which I had a whole lot of things to talk about. But as soon as I woke up, you know what I'm saying, the Lord reminded me that we are those great people. Never forget that, yeah, you go through certain things over here in America and scattered abroad. We know why we go through it, right? But at the same time, you still that great nation, man. Lift your head up, man. Salvation is nearer than what we believe. Lord willing, I'm part of the elect, man, okay? And, and, and these nations going to really realize it. They realizing now 
But wait till you have us, you know what I'm trying to bring us up from this low state. And they're going to really realize that we was those, because they realize it now, man. Don't let these other nations fool you. They know who the greatest people are on the face of the earth. They know, man, hands down. But they're going to admit it, you know what I'm saying, when we get that power from Yahweh by Shem Shah, Then these nations are going to admit that we are the greatest people on the face of the earth, man. They know it now, but they're not going to admit it. But they're going to admit it sooner or later, though, okay? Right now, they won't. It says, um, to be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face <coughs> of the earth. So you have Bashim Yahushua created you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians to be that great special people above all other nations. And it is what it is, man. You can't get around it. You can't double dutch through it. You just got to accept it, man. And we know these people ain't going to accept it right about now, man. We know. But it's, but it's just something to think about, man. You have Bashim Yahushua created you to be that special people. It's just something to think about. Let me see. This is um, Leviticus chapter 26. We're going to start at um, Zalakia. We start at 24. Leviticus chapter 26, verse 24. But I have said unto you, and this is Moses I speak, who they even call God, right? But I have said unto you, ye shall inherit the land, and I will give it unto you to possess it. A land that floweth with milk and honey. He's talking about the land of Jerusalem, Israel. I am the Lord, your power, which have separated you from other people. So you have Bashim Yahushua separated us, man. It won't never meant for us to get together with you heathens, man. You have Bashim Yahushua. This is the most high speaking. He said he separated us from other people, man, meaning you other nations, man. Ye shall therefore, look, ye shall therefore put difference between clean beasts and unclean, and between unclean fowls and clean. And ye shall not make your sons abominable by beasts, or by fowl, or by any manner of living thing that creepeth on the ground, which I have separated from, from you as unclean. Going into the food, right? <clears throat> Here's the point. And ye shall be holy unto me, for I am the Lord am holy and, and have severed you from other people and when the word severed means to cut right that ye should be mine so you have by Shemel Shai created the Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians to be his man his peculiar people you can't get around that scripture right there man you can't get around that scripture and a whole lot of people can't handle the truth anyway and I got one more I could keep going on going on going on but the point has been made. I, matter of fact, I, get, I bring two more. Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 2. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy power. And the Lord hath chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself above all nations that are upon the earth, man. That's why you Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians do what you do. Because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh created you to be that peculiar, special people. And it said, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Yeah, once again, you at the bottom right about now. You the first ones fired, the last ones hired, you're getting shot down in the streets. You don't know where your next meal is going to come from. You don't know if you're going to be able to pay your rent the next day. You know, you don't know if you're going to have your job the next day. But on, on top of all that, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh has still chosen you to be that special people. And we're going to overcome, man. Starting off with the elect. The nation of Israel is going to overcome, man. All the, all the obstacles that's been set before you, man. Why? Because you have Bashim Yahushua has created you to be that special people. To be able to go through it, make it through it. No other nation could have made it through what the Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians have been through, man. No other nation, man. Okay? And I got one more and then I'm going to close it up. This is um, Isaiah, Salakia, Isaiah chapter 40, verse 17. All nations before him are as nothing, and they are counted to him less 
than nothing. So when it comes, to, we just read, you know what I'm saying, the Bible that the Lord, you know what I'm saying, created Israel to be that special people. You know what I'm saying? That peculiar people. But this is what he has to say about these other nations, the so-called white men, Chinese, Japanese, Duduin, African, you know what I'm saying, the Hawaiians, the Dyer East Indians. This is what you have about Shemir Rashad, the guy the Bible has to say about you. We already read what he had to say about Israel, being that chosen people above all nations, the greatest people on the face of the earth. He is. He created them to be his. Pursuant to Leviticus um, 20, 24 through 26. Read that. I just read it, right? So, once again, Isaiah chapter 40, verse 17. All nations before him are as nothing. All the nations that I just named are nothing to you have by Shem Shah. Y'all was created, you know what I'm saying, to be our slaves, right? And you're going to realize that soon come when we get you in slavery, right? But here's the point. And they are counted to him less than nothing and vanity. So when you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans look in the mirror, just know that you're looking at greatness, man. Okay? You're not looking at nobodies. You're looking at greatness, man. Let it sink in. Hey, Lord willing, brothers are edified, and you few sisters that be chiming in, listening, and, just, and look, and just listening. Hey, man, lift up your head, man. You the greatest people created on the face of the earth, man. Giving all praise, all honor, all glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai, Waha Rakakwadash. Next double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace and blessing to all you sincere actors, man, pushing this Bible week in and week out to the best of your ability. Regardless of people here for a bit, just remember, once again, the name of this title is called Salakia. Where did I have it? We are the greatest people on the earth, man. Okay? Shalom.